This is the whipped back stitch. It's the yellow and blue stitch in the photo there. It creates a rope-like line with a little bit of a twist to it. And I'm going to work behind each of these back stitches in this top line. I'm using a tapestry needle. It has a long eye and a blunt tip, and that way I don't snag any of the back stitches as I pass behind them. The key to whipping any stitch is that you always pass the needle behind the stitch in the same direction. So in this case, I'm going upwards and I'm passing behind each back stitch in the same direction. And I'm not picking up any fabric, just passing behind each stitch to whip that thread around and create that rope like look. Now you can use contrasting colors of thread or the same color thread. It depends on the look that you want. When you get to the end of your line, you're going to take your stitch to the back of the fabric. And that is the whipped backstitch. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.